We are back, and we are back for the last Facebook Live of the day. As you can see, possibly behind us, they're even wrapping up. Uh, pretty much, they're kicking this out. But I could not let Ravi get escape this time. We missed you in New York, mm -hmm. but I was determined to get you today. You cornered me. I did. Good. That's, it, that's what it takes. <laughs> so um, I know that a lot of people were really, really excited about your keynote this morning. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't even think you need an introduction, but uh, our CTO, Ravi Mayoram. I'm saying it, I'm pronouncing it correctly. Pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty how, how, how do I how do I pronounce it correctly? It's Mayoram. Mayoram. Yes. Beautiful. All right, I got it. Um, the, uh, Francois was teaching me was teaching me French before, so I'm learning the accents and everything. Exactly. All right. Well, so this morning you had your keynote. Mm -hmm. um, this one was not live streamed. But for our audience who missed it, mm -hmm. what did you go over? Give us a Cliff Notes version of, of what people are going to be able to see when it's on demand. Yeah, so basically I was just talking about how, on what principles we have built this database platform and what benefits this brings to our customers and end users. And while building this platform, Many of us have actually lived this life of uh, doing beyond just databases. We have built app servers, applications, uh, web servers, mobile applications. We've, built, we've brought all this experience in defining and building this data platform. Now, while doing that, there are a lot of uh, discussions and tough decisions that we make. And so I was talking about uh, context over dogma because you don't want to get stuck in dogmas of the past and what is the present context to which we have to build this platform and not get stuck on the past dogmas. So dogmas like uh, you don't need SQL. Uh, we are sort of, our contention is you need. Uh, tra transactions need acid. Our contention is you don't need acid, but you need other the guarantees which are part of this which you need, but you have to evolve beyond that in this modern application context. And finally, uh, you need data on the device and not just the mobile application. So these were some of the points I raised and uh, uh, just uh, to give a, a you know, two minute overview of what I did for a good half an hour or so, I think that I hope piques people's interest to just go take a look at uh, what we described, how our platform is and what are the things you can uh, sort of, what are the possibilities we can imagine on it. Well, one thing, I did have one other question about your, your, your keynote, because mm -hmm. you said something that really kind of piqued my interest, and, and you said that, you know, cloud has been going on for 15 to 20 years. Yes. It's, that term is old news. Yes. And it's all about going to the edge now. Correct. You know, you know I, I think every, cost, every, every, every company out there is like, oh, we're going to the cloud, we're going to the cloud. <laughs> why, why is that old news? What does that mean? Yes, actually, the uh, cloud or... Uh, as a service movement has was started in the late 90s right in the late 99 time frame uh, back then it was application as a service uh, so they are now called SaaS software as a service then it evolved to platform as a service infrastructure as a service so this movement has been there for a long time uh, it's our human nature to consolidate stuff and sort of make it more utility as opposed to uh, sort of the way it's customized and bespoke right now. There is a place for that, but it is uh, something that has been going on for a good 20 years now. But where the innovation, where we need to take is truly, if you look at many of the uh, movement in AI and other stuff, it's about being able to take the decision at the time of your engagement, at the time when you're doing something. And more and more of that stuff is happening at the edge. And so that's what we need to sort of, that's why I was saying, Innovation needs to move more towards the edge than cloud. It's old news, it's been there. So cloud is about economy or about being able to do things more efficiently. Uh, but edge is where you need to really be thinking in terms of where the next set of innovations need to actually happen. Gotcha, that makes a lot of sense. And, and you know, one of the things that I, you actually mentioned before uh, was talking about the New York event. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, so it was a very different presentation, very different mm -hmm show today, I would yes. say. Um, yes. How would you say it was different for you? What were some of the similarities? But what, you know, maybe what stood out from this event? You know, when, when you cross the pond and come here, uh, the main thing that's really energetic and attractive to me 
is the set of customers that we meet here. Uh, especially in Europe, we have always had some phenomenal customers. Some of our uh, largest customer base in terms of how they use our product is uh, from here, uh, Europe generally, uh, both London and outside and uh, other countries in the EU. So that when you get to meet them, uh, that's the excitement of because we know how the product is being used right now, and that brings the rest of it out as as in uh, you know. You always talk to the audience, and when the audience is of this caliber, what I present and what I discuss and talk is also sort of different. So from that regard, you are right, I cannot compare because it's an entirely different set of audience, and I know how they use our product, and so this is to address what would their concerns be and what would their next set of innovation be. So in that regard, it's very different. It's very, I love the location. Uh, London is always uh, an inspiring place. And this location, especially where we have this uh, this uh, this event, is beautiful. And the stage and the setting, they all add to the ambiance and inspire you to actually produce something that people will remember by. Yeah, no, absolutely. And and you know, talking about our customers and, and all the things that we've accomplished this year, mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it, it's this is a year that we're we're, we're talking about accelerating momentum. Mm -hmm. Um, and I know, that I think that's a, maybe an internal term, but I think it's better externally. Yes. Um, so when people hear the term accelerating momentum, mm -hmm. what does that mean and, and how is it affecting our customers? Mm -hmm. So accelerating momentum is from our inside out, how we approach our customers, how we interact with them, how we enable them. From that perspective, there are multiple components. One is product, and you heard those announcements over there. Then partnerships, we have a partner team which is actually uh, bringing in different partners, both solution partners uh, uh, as well as infrastructure partners to, to the equation which makes it easier for our customers to adapt. Um, along with our momentum in sort of engaging and working with uh, other newer, bigger customers which brings its own set of excitement which our solutions team uh, and our center of excellence teams are doing. So it's a kind of a surround strategy where every aspect of the company is sort of uh, accelerating uh, what they are producing so our customers can benefit from that. And I think that's what we mean by accelerating momentum as in momentum of how we serve our customers. That's the excitement. And, and you also you mentioned about all the product announcements that mm -hmm. we had because mm -hmm. uh, um, while we didn't announce a ton of products here today, we talked yes. about all those products. Yes, we went hard in New York. Let's yes. put it that way. We announced three products. Uh -huh. You know, so Couchbase Managed Cloud five dot mm -hmm. five mm -hmm. and and Mobile two point mm -hmm. Of those announcements, mm -hmm. and maybe even ones that we haven't announced yet, or mm -hmm. or we've announced previously. Mm -hmm. What are the what's the most exciting to you? What differentiates us mm -hmm. from the rest? You know, I can't pick a favorite child. This is one of those. We need all of these, and each is equally important. The Mobile 2.0 is about simplifying development at the edge. The 5.5 is a, a it's a com coming of age of the Couchbase platform uh, on the server side. It's got the kinds of capabilities which are truly enterprise class. And the managed cloud is one about removing uh, the pain points that our customers uh, have actually expressed. In many cases, they would like to have the managed offering uh, where it suits them. So we are giving them one more option of adopting the uh, platform uh, with less resistance. So each is important in its own way. We also talked about how the Kubernetes uh, autonomous operator we are building, which will be uh, GA in, uh, in summer and a couple of months down the line, so that's also about enabling the operational side of it to be that much more easy. Uh, so all these are very significant announcements and no favorites from my end, but each plays a very significant part in the accelerating the momentum of how customers, partners uh, can engage with us and adopt and um, build the, the kinds of products and services that we uh, leave them to imagine and build. Our job is to provide them with the tools and that's where the excitement is. Awesome. Well, I appreciate your time. I know that the, uh, the company is going to be in a very different state come Silicon Valley. Who knows what products are going to announce. Yes, you really. announced the GA that's going to be coming soon. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I look forward to talking to you and hearing more about 
um, everything from your end then. But thank you for your time today. Fantastic. And uh, thank that's you. it for Facebook Live.